What's up, fans? It's KP. I am styling at the Long Beach Comic Con with cartoonist Amy Meverson. How are you, Amy? I am very well, thank you. Uh, it's time to start the music. It's time to start the show, The Muppet Show. The you Muppet are show. one of the cartoonists that works on this property. Mm -hmm, yes. How did you get such a great gig? Um, well, basically, I was already working for Boom, working on some of their Pixar comics. So I drew Monsters, Inc. first. And, of course, love the Muppets. Oh, grew, sure. up, grew up with the Muppets. Uh, who did Love classic Muppets. Right? And um, the opportunity came up. They needed a uh, cover for New York Comic Con. What was it? Uh, last year, I think. Disney liked it, and they said, yep, she's good. She can draw the Muppet Show next. So uh, oh, after that, I uh, got to do Muppet Peter Pan. And then I did four issues of the regular Muppet Show, which uh, Roger Langridge draws right. and created and wrote. And I did four issues of that. And then I moved straight on basically to Muppet Sherlock Holmes, which is what I am uh, finishing up now. In addition to drawing the Muppets, Boom give me occasional doing covers, doing some covers for like Uncle Scrooge or Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck, right. Or um, occasional Toy Story. So I get to, I get to take a break and do some different characters every once in a while. Now, out of the Muppet Show, there are oh so many characters that have endeared themselves to uh, our collective hearts. Is there uh, any one or a couple that you're a little more fond of working with than others? Um, in terms of which character I like drawing the most, I never get tired of drawing the frog. <laughs> Who doesn't love drawing Kermit? Right. I love drawing Kermit. Um, Kerm Kermit and Piggy are always, always Do you go fun. through a lot of green markers? Um, no, not really. I do it all, I do it all on the computer now, so, uh, um, yeah, because I, I love old school glamour and pin-up girls, and oh, of course sure, Piggy, sure, Piggy. Piggy's the epitome of, of the glamour girl. And, um, but what was really exciting was that, uh, for the first time, Disney amazingly let us do this for the Muppet Show comic that I did. We got to bring Scooter's sister Skeeter back, oh. <laughs> who has not been seen since Muppet Babies, and we got to bring her back, and she's all grown up now, and I got to design her, which was awesome. What kind of reactions do you get from the fans when they get to meet the, the artist that's bringing a lot of what they enjoy so much to them? Um, it's, it's always really, really touching when that happens. I mean, like I say, you get families like you know our age with their kids who right. grew up watching the Muppets, and they're like, "Hey, you remember these guys?" So sometimes the kids are just still getting to know the Muppets, right. but uh, but some kids they love them and they love Animal. And are there any characters that are problematic to work with? I mean, the challenge with drawing any of the Muppets because you don't have that acting, you don't have that voice and the timing, so you have to find other ways to get the expression and get some emotion, and so. Is there a disproportionate amount of male cartoonists in the industry? Because uh, it seems as if we don't see as many female cartoonists, or perhaps we're just not hearing of uh, as many female cartoonists. What's your take? Um, to be honest, I'm, I don't really keep track of the whole gender divide. Yeah. I mean, it's I, I don't do action comics, even though there are certainly plenty of female artists who do. Um, it's like I don't really categorize myself as like a female artist. I'm just a cartoonist. I expect to be judged on my art. Right. Not. I don't. I'm not trying to make a point here or anything. Right. It's. Uh, yeah. It's. It's. It, it is still very much a male-dominated industry. But you know, I, I never really saw that as a as a stumbling block. Right. I'm just like, I like drawing comics. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I don't care. Well, you, you, you draw them quite well, yeah. and uh, you've affected quite a lot of hearts uh, with your good work. And uh, Thank you. what's not to love for uh, uh, being that guardian of the Muppet Show? So, I know. so thanks it's... for your good work. Thank you very much. There you go. More to come from the Long Beach Comic Con. I'm KP. I am Stylin. StyleOnline.com. No, not really. I haven't come across a Muppet I haven't enjoyed doing. Mm -hmm. um, it's just that some are a little bit more labor intensive than others, mm -hmm. like. Uh, say um, the electric mayhem like Dr. Teeth because he's, he's very elaborate. He's got jewelry and all this kind of stuff. All right. right. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, it's a lot of fun. You know, yeah. I, I, you know, I've got, you know. Um, no, for the most part, I haven't ever come across any problems, really. <laughs> so. Now, uh, is, is there... Um... Bowser Galactica. Batman. <laughs> yeah. Serenity. What was that? Uh, Highlander. The Empire Strikes Back. Doctor Who. Star Trek The Next Generation was my favorite. Scooby-Doo. <laughs> well, at the moment, it would be True Blood. True Blood. True Blood. I have to say True Blood. She-Ra. Doctor Who. The Star Wars, Episode 4. Firefly, without a doubt. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Joker, obviously. Family Guy. <laughs> Good choice.